what did you think when you first heard about CRISPR? For our purposes, we thought, wow, we could actually correct a gene in human embryos and prevent the transmission of genetic diseases to children and to their future children. But that's the trigger for all the controversy. You know, you're going to prevent the disease in an embryo. Mm -hmm. As physicians, I think we're also trained to try and prevent disease. So if I know that you're at risk for a disease, doesn't have to be a genetic disease, and I know that there is a way that you can reduce your risk of that disease, potentially eliminate that, then I feel obligated as a physician to help you do that. When I hear you talk, it almost sounds as though you feel you have a moral imperative to pursue this. I do. I, I think if there is a way to prevent pain and suffering and transmission of serious diseases, then I think we're ethically obligated to pursue that research and technology. Despite the controversy, despite the concerns, despite the criticism that you're playing God, you think it's imperative that you continue to pursue this? Yes, I do, within the confines of the law, obviously. But I, I do feel that this is just an extension of all the other things we do in medicine, treat disease and prevent disease.